Hello and welcome back to Star Citizen and my recent series of trying to talk a little bit more about uh, chips in Star Citizen and what they use, or what they use is, how good they are, and generally what you can expect from them. This time with the Mustang, which is, as you probably are well aware of, the other starter ship that's available with the probably much more well-known Aurora. And it, I thought I should also try that out because it's kind of, it's kind of in a weird spot where very few people know it. Where most people are probably aware that the ship exists, but um, you see them pretty rarely. You see Auroras much, much more frequently than than Mustangs, and so I thought, you know, is the Mustang bad? Is that the reason why no one's flying a Mustang, or what? What? What exactly is the reason for why I see so see so few people flying Mustangs? But, um... Hey, you must be the contractor. Nice to have you on board. Quantum travel I'll be handling complete. logistics for you. Once we get the all clear from HQ, I'll let you know. If we take a look Sorry at it from the outside, the day, it looks pretty decent. It's not an Aegis ship, so but it looks work. very I'll similar to most Aegis phones. ships I know. You head to a patrol point, you clear it. I send you the next one. Alright, I don't, I'm talking, thank you. Uh, it looks... It has kind of similar lines to Aegis ships, but it is not an Aegis ship, it's from Consolidated Outland, who so far have not, pro have not provided many more other ships to the universe. The only other ship that only exists in concept is the Pioneer, I think, which is a very huge ship that, um, that puts down, you know, buildings on planets. So, we're, not pro we're probably not gonna see that anytime soon. But the Mustang, well, it's a, it's a starter ship, so considering what we discussed a few episodes ago with the Aurora, you'd probably expect it to be not very good at whatever you wanted to do. And I found out it's actually not quite the case, to be honest. Um, I think uh, basically you need to think of the Mustang as the more combat focused starter ship compared to the Aurora. It's a lot sleeker, it also handles quite a bit better and even with the default loadout you already have access to um, two size 2 gimbals <coughs> which in and by itself is pretty decent amount of firepower as we've seen in my 300 series video where I talked about 300 series but only used like the worst the, the worst of its variants in terms of, of combat and was still killing stuff with it so um gun wise it's already in a pretty decent spot mostly thanks due to the special weapons mod that's located in the very front of the ship here on the nose there's a special turret that counts as a as a gimbal weapon and has slots for two size two guns the default version of this variant the mustang alpha i think has the size two laser cannons there the bearing series m4a it must must be at that point and it's probably not the most effective way of taking down um, most of the fighter craft that you want to engage with when you just start the game, like doing some some patrols like here, or just some some sta some stationary skimmers. But they definitely do their job, and they have enough firepower to deal with stuff, even though they are technically probably the worst uh, size two gun that you can imagine. But me being me, obviously, I figured I'd just replace it with neutron guns. The ship also has two more weapon slots which are on the wings and those weapons are actually fixed and only size 1, so you can't make them gimbaled, at least in this variant. Which is a bit of a shame. Also, I need to maybe switch some stuff around. Let me do that real quick. Because I would like to have um, a different weapon group. Alright. As you can see, neutron guns, stay f they are gimbaled so you can use them re reliably with just auto gimbal. And then I also figured I had some Gatling guns when, when I want to have more firepower against bigger targets. Since that guy w wasn't moving, I was using it to, to demonstrate that it's still quite a bit of firepower, uh, but you probably only want to realistically use it against moving bigger targets because, well... You probably need a bit more firepower against those than just two, um, two size 2 neutron guns. And they do a pretty good job at that, I think. Other, th other things that I had considered for this slot but ended up not taking 
was um, scatter guns, probably distortion scatter guns, maybe, 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 maybe even ballistical scatter guns, just for some extra damage when you really want to kill someone real quick. But I think the Gatling guns are doing a good job at having a flexible answer to various sorts of situ of various sorts of situations. Like here against the Buccaneer, I probably don't want to waste ammo using those unless we get in a real up and close dogfight situation. Like here, maybe point can be made, but those Buccaneers don't 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 live too long anyway. So there's not really not much need to try and waste your ammo on those. So the combat performance of the ship is pretty okay. I mean, you need to have some level of skill built up in order to deal with the more involved combat missions, especially the beacons, which can sometimes put you against well better armored opponents. And especially the ship also, the ship has one major weakness, which is that at least currently it doesn't have any missiles, it doesn't have guided missiles by, by design basically. And it's supposed to have specialized dump fire missiles, but currently those apparently don't seem to be working. I don't know why, but uh, you do have the pods, but there's no, but there's nothing in there. So and you can't, and, and you also can't change it for anything. So I'm assuming that they're just broken at this point, and you're not supposed to use them. If they do work, you have additional weaponry against um, big. Uh, against big near stationary targets that might give you an, an additional boost in firepower so you can take on enemies like Valkyries, Constellations and the like uh, with a little bit uh, with a little bit better effectiveness. Other than that I don't think you're gonna be able to get through large shields without just seriously changing the weaponry around to probably something with mass drivers. But um, if you don't go for the high-end combat missions, it can do a pretty good job, especially if you have some skill built up and know what you're doing. But it doesn't have missiles, so you can't just uh, swarm your enemy with missiles because you have none of those. Uh, aside from that, uh, other other purposes than combat is a little bit of a different story. Uh, it does have cargo space, I think 6 ACU which is similar to the Aurora and uh, in my classification is it's there, it's nice if you were to do deliveries on, and, 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 and just trade a little bit on, on top of doing some deliveries um, but not enough for a trading ship even though it's called uh, you know a small freighter or whatever so um, yeah I wouldn't really consider it a freighter but um, your classification might be different CIG and other than that, there is one major issue with the ship, and that is that it has no interior space, which, which uh, in some patches of this game is actually a benefit because not having an interior of the ship that you have to go through makes going in and out of the ship much, much, much quicker. Also much less prone to errors because sometimes you can break legs by entering ships in in zero G, for instance, and um, you know, and 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 just general stuff like that. However, it becomes a huge problem when you try to attempt to do deliveries, which the ship really cannot do because it doesn't have an interior grid that you can put your that you can put your boxes down. However, it is supposed to be able to do that, and. And I'm gonna be showing you how it gonna how it's gonna do that. I guess now. Let me actually uh, open all exteriors. Come on. And then if we take a look at the back here, you can see this cargo pod that's slightly extending from below the ship. That's where your cargo is stored. You can even when the ship is landed, you can open this from the outside, and at some point you'll be able to put your mission box just in there, which is gonna be taking one fourth of this small uh, of of the small uh, of the small spaces there, so at some point you should be able to use it for deliveries, but at the moment you cannot. However, because CIG notices that you should be able to use the ship for deliveries, but due to their fault you can't. When you when you just have this ship, you also 
gain uh, an Aurora MR, I think, uh, just right from the get-go, uh, just as a vessel that you can do deliveries with, which also puts you as an, at another interesting position because this Aurora MR comes comes equipped with a, with a few size one guns, if I'm not mistaken, which would fit fine into your uh, into your open uh, size one weapon slots on the wings, so that you have. One ship if you want to do deliveries, and then this ship if you want to do combat missions, which I think is pretty okay. I actually need to turn this around to slow down. Come on. So, um, all, 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 all those con all, all those all, all those things considered, jeez, my language today is not available. It seems. Um, all those things considered, it seems like. The um, like the Mustang is just straight up better than the Aurora because you know you get an Aurora anyway if you think that the Aurora is better for something and the only thing that you really are sacrificing is not being able to do deliveries and one other small minor thing at this moment at, at, at this moment is that due to it having no interior space you also don't have a bed so you can't use it to log out and get back and try and get back into the same server which right now is working somewhat reliably and might be a more important thing at some point in the game's future, but it's a minor annoyance at best. You just need to land somewhere that you can actually spawn your ship from, which is often good practice anyway. But you can't just hop in for, for five minutes while you are just planet side scanning for some minerals and hand mining them and then just log out again and get back into the same position as you could technically do with an Aurora. So. It doesn't have that, but since you also do get an Aurora, you can just use it for that anyway. So, um, really, the only the only problem that it sort of has is that it has no missiles, which you know is is a problem. But uh, you can also just make it work because the armament is pretty nice. You know, two size two guns, which are gimbaled, and two size one guns puts you at exact the same amount of firepower that. Uh, I advocated for the arrow, and the arrow is kind of a full combat ship that has one shield generator less than this one. This also has two shield generators, by the way. So basically, like all uh, small, so basically like most small fighter craft. So it's pretty alright. Um, you're probably not gonna have the very best military grade fighter right from the start, but if you upgrade the components, which for most, uh, which mostly are not the best, but uh, they're probably good enough for your uh, f for the first few jobs that you do. And then when you earn some AUEC, you can just upgrade it to have better shields, to have a more powerful drive. Strangely enough, I think I think this is a bug, and and and, and I didn't utilize it because I think it would be uh, <laughs> it would be a bit hilarious. But uh, this the, the, the loadout manager allowed me to equip a size 2 quantum drive to this vessel, which is a bit hilarious because it's not the correct size for the ship. But uh, I didn't try what happens if I do. Maybe maybe the quantum drive just starts just stops using. I think it's just a bug that they forgot to set to set something properly. But um, what I'm basically trying to say is, other than the Aurora, whose initial combat possibilities are extremely limited and possibly you you even have problems just doing the skimmer missions in time this ship can pretty much handle most of the beginner combat missions on its own let's do the combat anyway So, if you're looking for a more combat-oriented starter, because you don't want to just carry boxes around and do some trading and maybe just some on-foot e exploration and hand mining, then I think the Mustang is a clear superior choice to the Aurora for really not that much, for, for, for really no additional cost for the base versions. There's also some improved versions. Uh, I'm not sure if the exploration-focused uh, Gamma is already in the that was the gamma, right? God damn it. Let me take care of that ship real quick while I put up my list so that I don't mess it up again, which has been known to happen. Uh, no, the beta. The beta is the exploration focused variant. I'm not entirely sure 
It has some fluff tanks right now that it has better um, that it has better fuel tanks. Um, judging from what from the B, uh, from the treatment of the um, of the 315P, I'm I'm not sure if that actually is true in the game. It probably just has some slightly different some slightly different and maybe a slightly better starting components. But other than that, it seems pretty much identical with the uh, Alpha that you're seeing here. Then there's the Gamma. The Gamma is the more combat-focused combat variant. It basically has an increase in the size of the weapons on the wings from size 1 to size 2. Which, for all, for all intents and purposes, is pretty nice because it allows you to change those weapons to gimbal weapons. And at that point you're basically looking at having the exact same armament that the um, Arrow has. With, you know, the additional shield generator, but the ship not being quite as maneuverable, fast and small. So, you know, it's probably, you probably end up being in a worse spot than the arrow, but you're not that far off in terms of firepower. And then I think there's also some more exotic variants, like the Gamma, which is focused on racing. So it's probably a little bit, sm a little bit faster by default. I don't think it has... I don't think it has the upgraded, the upgraded guns that the Gamma had. But um, uh, starter ships that are racers are in a really weird spot anyway, so I'm not gonna recommend that really. Uh, be be because there's really not, because there's really no, no mission in uh, in the PU right now that you can do just as a racer. If you say, you know, I want my profession to be racing, then right now you can do nothing. I haven't. St th there is a specific mission where you do a race, but it's on ground so um your ship doesn't really help you so and even that i haven't i haven't seen around in a while so i um, suspect there's really no mission for you there and uh most of the really dedicated racers are just very bad at 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 combat these days which makes me sad because i liked the m50 when it first came into the game but uh, maybe i'm going to be doing a video on the m50 at some point so i'll 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 i'll, I'll uh, leave the discussion for that up, up until that point and then there's also the even more rarer omega variant which i think you got due to some deal where if you bought i think amd cards you got it for free or something so um yeah, they're probably also good, probably better than the Alpha, but um, if you want to have the most combat-focused variant, it's probably gonna be the Gamma, because, you know, it has those those bigger guns on the wings, and and you can use them to just have gimbal weapons installed, which helps you with your with your beginner's great combat missions, because most ships you'll be facing there is gonna be fighter craft, maybe with a cutlass thrown in there once in a while, and um, so your best weapon against them is to have gimbal on your ship. Anyway, that's about it. Let's see if any enemies decide to show up at some point. You can probably do these beginner combat missions right away. The more advanced uh, combat beacons I'd probably lay off until you can upgrade the equipment. I have been able to do these with this ship in this upgraded equipment configuration, so it's doable. But uh, at that point, you're probably looking to invest like, uh, like about 100k worth of components, at least. So the first thing you're probably looking to upgrade is your main weapon because the laser cannons are pretty bad. So you probably want to upgrade them to something that you like more. Then add the wing guns if you don't, uh, if if you don't use the ones from uh, from your uh, loner. Uh, from the Lona Aurora, so I think the Lona Aurora has. Jesus, I think the Lona Aurora has um, laser repeaters. Size one laser repeaters. But you're pretty much set to go, and if you want to do deliveries, you know, you just have that. Uh, Aurora anyway that you can just use for that. It's not quite as stylish and all, but um, you know, we all need to make sacrifices in order to earn money. Alright, ooh, cut this. Yeah. And then the next thing I'd probably upgrade is the shield, because the shields you start out with are one of the worst shields of, of size one which says a lot because even the hornet shields are kind of looking 
looking down at you and smiling. So um, you probably want to upgrade those to, to something a lot better. Which, especially that you can't reliably evade missiles these days, is very important to have because lots of the AI try to throw missiles at you, and you might survive the first one, but if you get a second one in in quick succession, there's probably no way to survive it, and uh, most of the damage will end up on your wings and on the uh, big engines that the ship has that are kind of slightly off to the side in the back here. And if you lose one of them, you also lose the associated wing, a lot of maneuvering thrusters, and you probably have a hard time just flying the ship straight, let alone fight back against someone. So you should probably try to avoid that. But anyway, that's about it. The Mustang, probably the superior starter ship for no real additional price or, or uh, significant downside. So get it while it's still good, but uh, I'll see you and at the next episode, I hope. See you then. Have a good one.